In this tutorial, we will discuss how to perform transcriptomic analysis using BRBRA tool. In the previous two tutorials, we discussed how to download the BRBRA tool and install it in your computer. And then we discussed how to download uh, data sets which should be analyzed on BRBRA using Geo Omnibus database that is part of NCBI. Now it's, uh, let's jump into the basic uh, things which are required as an input file for BRBRA. So uh, inputs for BRBRA include number one is the raw data or you can say samples which uh, will you which will uh, you will download from uh, geo and cbi which i showed in the previous uh, tutorial then if you know the detail uh, want to know the details just watch that tutorial then from after downloading the raw data we also need the sample description file actually this is known as descriptor file in uh, brbra sample description means we uh, all the description related to associated with the raw samples which we have downloaded for example if we are using any cancer like liver cancer we want to analyze liver cancer so we have downloaded for instance we have downloaded the data set uh, some raw data of liver cancer then this sample description file means that for each sample and patient all the information related to it for instance like what is the age of the patient what 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 is the grade of the patient what is the uh, survival rate of the patient all the information related to that is called is called sample description file which is also available along with the data set on geo the third main thing which is required as an input is the array design this array design actually is the raw is the is actually the description of this raw data for example if we are using here uh, fa matrix so this fa matrix uh, platform uh, which are using this uh, samples right so the design of that uh, array for example what is the design actually the arrays are actually designed these platforms fa matrix and all the different other micro array chips like illumina b chip or uh, agilent these are uh, uh, organized in a raw form as the probe ids probe identifiers right so actually these probe ids are associated with different genes this actually array design contains the information of this probe ids and gene information so why it is important it is important because when you will perform the analysis using uh, brb array tool it will give you the expression information in against the probe ids so these probe ids we don't know that what uh, each probe id is associated what is the gene which is associated with this probe id so the this array designed array design it should be designed right not designed this array design file will annotate these probe ids against these genes right so uh, if you want to know the further details that what actually is the probes and how they are, how they are generated you can this is beyond the scope of this tutorial so you can go and uh, uh, check the details otherwise you can uh, write a question in the below the section so i'll answer that so yeah so there are three things raw data sample description file and array design so these three things are important before going into the so let's uh, start and uh, pose a question like for example what we want to do using brb array this is the let's suppose what is the question we uh, say let's suppose our question is which gene set or gene signatures are associated with the breast 
cancer re reoccurrence reoccurrence means that uh, the tumor is again reoccurred in some you can suggest change the color why it's not writing here re why is the problem re occurrence right maybe the there can be a problem in the in the uh, right, uh, spelling so just ignore it because this is not that lecture of english so so now our question is which gene set or signatures are associated with the breast cancer tumor recurrence so what we need for this is what we need is for this is uh, one thing that is raw data that is associated with breast cancer and the uh, d d expression uh, along with this expression information we need uh, the sample description file which should contain this sample description file which should contain the information of patients and the recurrence information so that we can compare the raw information uh, so, uh, the raw uh, expression information after processing with the recurrence information and come up with the uh, answer that the which genes are associated with the tumor recurrence so in the next part i will go through uh, the brbr analysis so uh, keep watching and keep in touch i'll upload that video almost maybe today or very soon take care